So I have an argument that I've discussed with people and that I believe that CapCut is the superior editor. Now, you may not believe that and stick with me. I will explain why I believe that. Firstly, let me preface by saying every single editing platform has its own advantages and disadvantages. And by no means am I saying CapCut is cross the board the better editor for every single function, right? That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is CapCut has worked for me in running extremely successful campaigns for big brands around my country, which is South Africa. Myself and my company included have worked for brands such as Hunters, uh, the Department of Health, the government. We've recently run a campaign for a local private school here where we took their profile. We started the profile from, from scratch and we took it from zero to 65,000 followers in three months uh, using the students and creating videos on CapCut. CapCut has consistently delivered uh, the most efficient editing speed, the best quality, and I'll explain how we get that quality a bit later. It really comes down to CapCut has created the most amount of videos that work on social media for me and my company. I also think it's important for you guys to know, not at all from a uh, prideful or boasting way at all, right? I just think it's important for you, for you guys to know that I've compared different editing softwares over around 450 pieces of creative, of which those videos have produced around 50 million views. And most of that, I'd say 95% of that is organic. So we've created a lot of videos for social media on Final Cut, DaVinci, Premiere, and CapCut, obviously. With that being said, let's discuss the main reasons why CapCut is the superior editor. And just to preface, maybe you don't know, maybe you do, we're gonna be working on the desktop version of CapCut today. So the first reason why CapCut is superior is quite simple. It's free. To my knowledge, and I may be wrong here, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, there isn't another editing platform that is completely free with premium features. I know DaVinci comes in its free version and it's incredible. I know the DaVinci fanboys are gonna be saying that, but CapCut has all its premium features for absolutely free. In addition to that, there is no platform where you can't get CapCut on, right? So CapCut has an app for Mac, CapCut has an app for Windows, CapCut has an online version in case you don't have a Mac or a Windows computer, and also CapCut has a mobile app. Across the board, every single version is free, and you get those premium features. And when I say those premium features are sweet, I mean they're sweet, guys. They have incredible functionality. We're gonna talk about those. The second reason, and it's also a simple reason why I think CapCut is superior, is it's so simple to use. I remember jumping into Avid Media Composer for the first time when I was in my final year of study and I was majoring in editing. And when I got into that software, I could have sworn that feeling that I got was like I had just jumped into a spaceship. The dashboard, the icons, the archaic feeling, the, the way things flowed, it just really felt so foreign to me. And consider that I had already at that point edited with DaVinci, with Premiere, and with Final Cut and I was jumping into Avid and it felt so far and it didn't feel like home. And I think that's important. It's important to feel like home in an editing software. And that's what CapCut feels like for me. When I look at the dashboard and obviously I've had a lot of time in the app now, but when I look at CapCut and I feel CapCut, it, it feels like home and it's extremely easy to use. And don't get it wrong. I don't think ease of use correlates with the simplicity of its functions and its tools. I think CapCut is very versatile in what it can do and it just feels like they've created the app with int intentionality that the people that are gonna be using the app aren't spending eight hours a day behind a dashboard of an editing software editing. And I think, I think that really shows in how it comes across in its ease of use. The third reason is CapCut consistently delivers the highest quality exports and obviously when you post to TikTok, you want the highest quality. When you post to Instagram, you want the highest quality. CapCut delivers across the board between Final Cut, DaVinci and Premiere, the highest quality exports. And the reason this is, is CapCut is owned by ByteDance who wants you to post your videos on TikTok and better quality TikToks. And this has been tested across our 450 pieces of creative. Better quality TikToks generally perform better. They get more views, they get more engagement. People want to watch them more. I'm gonna jump into the desktop version here and I wanna show you the trick that I use to get the best quality videos out of CapCut. Let's create a new project. I'm gonna go ahead and import my footage. And just to preface, this footage that I'm gonna import, I shot for Hunters, which is a big alcohol company here in the country. And this was shot on an iPhone 12 
Pro. And here we go, it's on the timeline. Let me just drag this open for you guys. So the quality is great. It doesn't look bad at all, but it can use some improvements. And this is where, uh, and what I do for every single video that I export out of CapCut. I'm gonna go to adjustment in the top here, and I'm gonna add a custom adjustment layer. It works just like another adjustment layer, but it's got some functionalities within the adjustment layer that you can use. Now, this is a bit of a bonus piece of content. If you go to LUT, you can add and import your own custom LUTs. So if I have a LUT, for instance, from Bounce Color, and you have a uh, you know a color conversion S log three to Rec seven or nine. I can open that, and when I apply the adjustment layer, if I have a bunch of footage underneath here that shot an S log, I can go to my adjustment layer and add that color conversion. Now again, this has been shot on the iPhone, so it's not gonna it's not gonna treat it nicely. But I mean, that doesn't look too bad to me in any case. Another thing you can do is if you toggle you know skin tone protection, what it's gonna do is apply your LUT to the background and to your other elements and keep your skin tones pretty much perfect. Uh, and you can see if I just toggle it on and off there, what it's done. So again, if we have skin tone protection on and I detoggle that, you can see our background looks incredible, but his skin tones stay relatively the same. But that's not why we're here. Let me show you how I get the best possible e exports out of CapCut. All I'm gonna do is go to my adjustment layer and under basic, I'm gonna go and add some saturation. I usually add about 15 points of saturation. I add five points of brightness. And again, this is gonna vary with, you know, the style that you want for your footage and how you've shot it. I add some contrast. And then what I do is, here's the magic trick. I add uh, sharpening. Now, pretty much in every other platform, to add sharpening is, is uh, it's almost a sin, right? But CapCut has an incredible tool. I don't know how it does it, but it makes the footage look extremely sharp without having that digital sharpness look. And, uh, you know, before and after, again, that's that's 30 points. Uh, and what this does is obviously when you post it to social media, you're going to have natural compression in your video. And this almost mitigates that. It really creates an incredible looking image. So if we detoggle that uh, adjustment layer, you can see that our image is looking incredible. Now, if we go and export, I'm gonna click my I and O just to set my in and out. I'm gonna go Command E to bring up the export tab. We can obviously add a title. Now for video exporting, you wanna leave it at 1080p. If you shoot in 4K and you export in 4K, your video is gonna be compressed a lot more than if you leave it at 1080. For bitrate, I leave it at higher, H.264, MP4, and 30 FPS. This is what social media platforms love to process. And if we title this test one, let's save it to the desktop, and I wanna show you the quality that we got in this. All right, so our video is exported. Let's go ahead and open it up on the desktop. Uh, and see what we got. Test one. Damn, look at that quality, man. I mean, I don't know. If you look at that, it pretty much looks... It looks a lot better than when we shot it. Uh, but the quality pretty much looks lossless. And again, if we post this, if someone's viewing this from a phone, they're just going to see how incredible that quality is. So use this adjustment layer and use the values that I set. And that's going to give you incredible, incredible, incredible looking footage. So reason number four why CapCut is superior is CapCut has inbuilt AI voice. It's super simple to use. All you have to do is add a text layer, type your text. Hey, this is CapCut. Once you have your text layer, you get an option to choose so many different voice functions. So just click on your text layer, go to the top right, say text to speech. And here we have access to 40 different AI voices. And you definitely, if you're on TikTok, you definitely would have heard hey, this. Hey, this is CapCut. That's the Jesse voice. You would have heard Trickster as well. And then what we have is we have different ones that are like open mic where someone sounds like they're singing. Hey, oh, 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 this is CapCut. All right, so I've generated a bit of a story here. Let's go to Male Storyteller and see what it does. One day in a mysterious land lived three young ants. One of them had a big problem and needed I mean, help from the other ants to solve it. In all honesty, I, I almost couldn't tell that that was AI. Anyways, once you have your text, all you have to do is say start reading. It's going to apply your text to speech and it's going to lay an audio track underneath. And then we have our audio track and even we can delete the, audio, the, the, the text layer and our audio track remains. 
There's been three videos that we've done that we've posted on uh, on different profiles that have got over 3 million views using this AI voice function. This is gonna be in another video. I don't wanna spoil and make this video an hour long, but there are so many different cool techniques you can do with audio. There's just an incredible, incredible amount of functionality. Again, what I was saying to it, not it being simple to use, but the functionality being incredible. Like they've chosen the, the tools that you're going to have to use and they haven't given you a million other tools, which is, it's just beautiful. The fifth reason CapCut is superior is CapCut has inbuilt sound effects. Absolutely incredible. Let's switch over back here and I'll show you what I mean. If we go to audio, we can have, we have music options and on the second one, we have sound effects. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drop, you know, this video's audio. Let's search for a seagull. You can add that in. Let's go to waves crashing. And just like that, you can really find a bunch of versatile sound effects directly from the CapCut app, which is just fantastic. You know, in any other editing software, you'd need to go to an external platform to find sound effects. With CapCut, it's built in. You can build your soundscape, you can build your sound design in a matter of minutes and find exactly what you need. The sixth reason CapCut is superior is it has insane, and the keyword here is usable transitions. There are so many transitions on different editing platforms that honestly you wouldn't use 99% of them. And I can confidently say that I've used most of the CapCut transitions in my videos. So I've just brought in another clip here. I'm gonna go ahead and replace that clip and remove this. And let's say we want to transition between these two clips, right? So if we just start playing with some of these transitions, if I drag the smoke effect on, that's really cool. I used that in a video where I was going from a drone shot to another drone shot, and it was almost like a cloud came over um, and had that smoke effect, that cloud effect. What's cool is we can preview the transitions. You know, if we click a clip, we can preview that transition and what it'll look like between those two clips. And if you scroll down, you'll see, you'll get a bunch of, you know, so many different transitions. We can change we can change the time of the transition just by either dragging it on the timeline or changing our duration within the, the transition tab. And I don't have time, nor do you, to run through all of these different transitions, so I'm gonna let you do it. But the point is there are transitions that you will absolutely use if you like transitions um, in your videos. The seventh reason CapCut is so superior is its facial smoothing feature. Now, how many times for some of us who have been on sets a lot, how many times have you walked away from a set after a shoot and the client says, and this may be a big boss or someone else, they say, make sure I look beautiful in post-production. And you kind of stand there for a second saying, well, if you're in Final Cut, you don't have any kind of facial beautification tools or anything like that. Um, and you feel a little stuck and that's where CapCut comes in. This is incredible. Now, Obviously, you're gonna use it as, at, at your discretion. I'm not a big fan of a lot of enhancement of the face and things like that, but let's go to the CapCut app. If you click on your clip, it's gonna open up these functions. You can go from basic to enhance, and we can click and toggle that face. It's automatically gonna identify the face, and we can really smoothen up the face. We can brighten her face, and that also brightens some of the skin tone, so it blends that in, and we can whiten her teeth as well. Now, if you really want to get technical with it, you can go to Facial Beauty uh, and select individual elements and we can really slim down her face in a realistic way. Her chin length. I mean, yeah, it's a bit extreme, the tools and functionality of what you can do in post-production. You can essentially change the way someone looks, but this is all built in in CapCut. So if I just zoom in here, I want to show you quickly what it's done. We can detoggle that. And you can see there, it's really smoothened out. Uh, I don't know if you can tell on the, it's really smoothened out her face, right? And if we, I mean, we've completely changed the way this person looks. And, and that's obviously applying it in real time as the video goes. And the last reason why I think CapCut is incredible and superior is the export times. There have been instances, and this isn't in every case, but there have been instances where I click export and the video exports almost instantly. Honestly, it takes two seconds to export and I check this across two different computers and that's the case. So if you're looking for efficiency of exports, speed of exports, CapCut is the way to go. You don't have time when you're doing 30 videos and 30 TikToks for a campaign 
you don't have time to wait, you know, 10 minutes per export. And it's incredible that Kafka can do it almost instantly. My best assumption is that it caches or renders the file before you click export. And as soon as you click, click export, it consolidates those files into your export location and creates that export file. We have only just touched the surface of the functionality of CapCut, what it can do, the incredible features. Honestly, these eight of which I think five of them were actually in the app, uh, really only start to scratch the surface. I love editing. I love CapCut, as you could probably tell. And I'd love to show you the different tips and tricks. I've already released other videos on the profile uh, that really speak to some of the cool and, and niche effects that you can do in CapCut. So if you have an interest in bettering your edits, please go check those out. But that's going to be all for today. Thank you for spending this time with me. It's a privilege. It's my privilege. I hope you gain something beneficial and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks, everybody.